For many police officers, Christmas Day is spent on the streets instead of at home with their families. That's why one Franklin officer chose to open his home and his kitchen for his fellow officers 20 years ago. News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy shows us why this Christmas Day dinner is bittersweet for his department. A lot of them after Thanksgiving will ask, are you guys going to do the Christmas dinner this year? <laughs> there are certain staples you come to expect on Christmas Day. I want to do like 17 potatoes. At Don Arnold's home, it's dinner with all the fixings. We have pit smoked turkey, baked potatoes, salad bar. But it wasn't always this way. You don't get the best day, so I was working Christmas. Don's husband, Paul, is a 26-year veteran of the Franklin Police Department. Neither will forget his first Christmas on the job. They met for dinner during Paul's shift. What we found out was nothing was open, nothing. So we ended up having a Christmas meal at the cafeteria at the hospital. Not the most exciting or, or uplifting experience. And we were the only people in there, so it was yeah. really kind of sad. It, That's when the Arnolds made a decision. I was like, this should not happen again to anybody. It didn't. I'm gonna have to put the corn casserole in. The next year, Paul invited the officers on his shift to his home for a small dinner. This needs to be more. This needs to be a real Christmas dinner. One dinner that has evolved into this. Three meals on Christmas Day. One for each shift of officers who can't be home for the holiday. <laughs> Merry Christmas, sir. Love Glad you. you made it. A Christmas staple now in its 20th year. Two decades of promises that no one will eat alone on this day. So come on. But this year is different than the others. If you believe my doctors, is I probably won't be around next year. Paul is battling cancer for the third time. This time is the worst. I was diagnosed in July, and it's... Uh, metastatic it has spread um, which traditionally is incurable a diagnosis his family will not let paul and don face alone they have been in line to help paul it is just unbelievable they've taken him to his cancer treatment appointments and um, stopped by the house to see him it's just been like you mentioned it was a family it's very much a family and we really appreciate it. This will be the final Christmas Day dinner Paul and Don will host. Yeah. But today, we miss anybody? That doesn't matter. Dear Father God, this is about we blessings. We thank you for those that have prepared the food and have opened their house to us as they have for the last 20 years. Good food. Everybody got everything they need? And laughter. <laughs> this is about the men and women in uniform who became family. Hopefully that they, uh, they got a good warm meal on uh, Christmas Day and that it will inspire more brotherhood and connection amongst our police family, if you will. And uh, if they can take that away, then, then we've done great. A family that started with one man who has become a staple for so many. Keeping you in my prayers. All right, thanks. Love Appreciate you, buddy. it. You in Franklin, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5. Paul is continuing treatment to fight his cancer diagnosis. He would like another officer or organization to continue his Christmas dinner tradition next year. He and Don are hopeful they'll both be able to attend.